met with adolescent fitness coach that promotes your ability as a baseball or softball player. Welcome to Stat Manager Prospect Videos. Say goodbye to the old way of hoping to be seen at a showcase. Start controlling your own destiny and controlling who sees your skills. When you get a Stat Manager Prospect video, you'll also receive a full data breakdown of your performance, giving you the ability to provide college coaches and scouts exactly what they are looking for. Video to allow them to best evaluate your movements and data to see how your metrics measure up to the standards of their program. Designed with feedback from some of the best college programs and MLB scouts alike, your stat manager video will work for you more than any showcase ever could and at a fraction of the cost. Sign up today for your own Stat Manager video. Test, test. jump in here. So what we're going to do is when they hit the ball, hit the review the program. All right, you can go in there and start marking. Are we tagging anything for this? Actually, it would be nice. Do you hear any audience? I'm going to go over to you got to do a test and see what the hot spot is. Hold on. Good afternoon here in the bottom half of the first inning. It's the 2023 Florida Dodgers scout team against the Clay Cobras. Great to have you with us on a beautiful Saturday afternoon here at St. John's Country Day. And it's leading off here for the Florida Dodgers scout team, Brody Delamalur. This pitch inside from Aiden Hampton, who's on the mound today, and that'll be a walk for Brody down first. Aiden Hampton for the Clay Cobras. He's certainly a prospect that you look at down the road. 2023, a pitcher at a shortstop for Clay. He's got a lot of eyes on him, and he will have today and going forward into potentially a college future for the kid on the mound right now. Swung on, fouled back. as Henry steps in for the Florida Dodgers scout team. This team made up of several 
guys from around the local area, St. John's Country Day, Oak Leaf, Creekside, just to name a few. Strike call in the outside corner. As Jeffrey Henry stands in. From the stretch with a runner on, here's Hampton. Found back. Some of the guys at least fouled a few pitches off of Hampton. In the top half of the first inning, Isaiah Mamea went 1-2-3 with a pair of strikeouts. Runner going, and he will steal the bag. Lamalore so gets a steal out at second. Chase Haggard is behind the plate today for Clay. He couldn't come up with the ball to try to get it down to second to try to at least attempt a pickoff down to second. Here's the 1 2 now on Henry. From the stretch is Hampton. Here's the pitch. Swung on this one. Wide to second. That'll be. And out for Clay. Now coming to the plate for Episcopal, the big left-hander, Liam O'Neill. Big, tall left-hander from Episcopal. Let's see what he can do against Hampton. First pitch off speed outside. side, wearing number three, big left-handed hitter, wearing the number of Babe Ruth from that left side. Hampton comes to the plate, and there's a strike called on the outside corner. Hampton has thrown three straight pitches to the outside of O'Neill off the plate, trying to be safe. Here's the 2 1. Swing and a miss off speed. Got O'Neill out in front on that one. O'Neill looks back at the home plate umpire. Was that a strike or not? I think it was. Looking at a 2 2 count now. Hampton comes from the stretch. Here's the pitch. There's a slider in the outside corner. He'll Run the count full now, three and two. Aiden Hampton on Liam O'Neill. Here he comes to the plate on the three, two. And this one down in the dirt, and O'Neill will take first base. So now runners at first and second for the Dodgers. Now we're going to see Tyler Waters to the plate now. Waters is playing at his home ballpark today, a member of the St. John's Country Day team, with runners at first and second. Hampton works from the stretch again. Swing, and this one he went around on that one as the double steal is put on, and the Dodgers advance both runners to second and third. Lamalure and O'Neill both complete the double steal for the Dodgers. And 
now Coach Tom Lucas has runners in scoring position at second and third. Waters has a chance for a couple RBIs here. Here's the pitch. Swung on this one, a nearly a base hit, and it will get a run home. Here comes one run. O'Neill thought about rounding third, but he'll stay there, and it's an RBI single for Waters. One nothing Florida Dodgers scout team against the Clay Cobras. Aiden Hampton on the mound for Clay. Stepping off the bump for just a second to readjust. He's had to work from the stretch the entire first inning here. So a run is home for the Dodgers. Now runners at first and third. As you see now, the starting pitcher for today's game Isaiah Mamea at the plate. Mamea grounded a short, trying to come up with it. And the out is made at first, but a run does score. O'Neill comes around to score the second run of the game for the Dodgers. It's 2-0. So an RBI ground out that time, a sacrifice for Mamea. So he's going down to first. Bryce Bell already go down, going down to first after a hit by a pitch. And now the left-hander Jacob Thomas to the plate. Pitch outside to Thomas. He's the seventh place hitter today for Coach Tom Lucas and the Dodger Scout team. This is the 2023 group. The 2022 group is going to play in the second game today. Another pitch outside from Hampton. Pitch at 77 miles per hour from Hampton as we're looking at our flight scope here. Mark Spencer helping us out with that. Good, good day to you, Andrew. How Absolutely. are you? Absolutely. Doing well. How are you? You're getting everything just fixed up for us, aren't you? Well, we're trying. We were, we were kind of aiming for that 12 o'clock start. So, hey, I don't blame these coaches with these afternoon storms. You know, it's nice right. to get that when they're ready to play, get going. So, if, if some of the data is a little choppy at the start, we apologize, but we're getting it going now. So Aiden Hampton's going to step off and look back to second. He's got really some trouble in this inning. Two runs are home and two runners on base right now. As he looks inside with the pitch to Jacob Thomas, and that'll be another pit, uh, another walk. So he's had a couple of walks in this inning as well. Now we're going to have a conversation on the mound as we do. Mark, uh, tell us about what you got all set up here today. So the uh, Dodgers had us out. We were here at 9 a.m. this morning, and we we did um, some hitter videos for all the hitters, and with the metrics on there. So every hitter that came through, they have a video of their swing. But what's really unique about it is with each swing um, on the screen is all their blast metrics, so their bat speed, angle of attack, things like that, and also their batted ball metrics, so exit velocities and stuff. So it's a way for the player to kind of be able to see when they swing instead of just video of the swing, but have the metrics tied to each swing. That's awesome stuff. You know, being able to show that kind of data for high school players is uh, something that I certainly never got to, <laughs> right. got to look at as a high school guy playing. I mean, you kind of knew sometimes what you might throw, but uh, this data here is telling you exactly what they're throwing. The last pitch previous to that one was 78 miles an hour out of the hand of Aiden Hampton, the uh, pitcher today for Clay, as he runs into some trouble here. 
still in the bottom half of the first. Bases are loaded. Two to nothing is the score right now. The 2023 Florida Dodgers scout team against the Clay Cobras. And this Clay team is uh, sort of the JV a developmental team. A lot of 15 and under guys on this team. As we mentioned, Aiden Hampton, a 2023 prospect. And right now, Wyatt Dietrich is at the plate. Wyatt used to be a player that we worked with and we had in our facility. So I just watched him play for a couple of years. Nice to see him out here today. <laughs> Strike on the inside half of the plate. Wyatt out of Fleming Island, close by, mm -hmm. here in St. John's Country Day. They got some players in that high school team right there, huh? St. John's for sure. I mean, Fleming does as well, but I mean, here's a swing and a miss for Dietrich, but. You know, I'm okay with that swing and miss. You know, yeah. three to one count, right? You pretty much know the pitcher's struggling. He's got to throw a fastball. You missed, but you have a good hard swing there. That's fine. And especially with the bases loaded. Let's go. Bases loaded. Here's the pitch. Swung on and swung through it. And Aiden Hampton gets out of the jam with the bases loaded, but two runs do score. It's 2 nothing. Florida Dodgers scout team as we head to the second. There is now a more effective and a less expensive way to promote your ability as a baseball or softball player. Welcome to Stat Manager Prospect Videos. Say goodbye to the old way of hoping to be seen at a showcase. Start controlling your own destiny and controlling who sees your skills. When you get a Stat Manager Prospect video, you'll also receive a full data breakdown of your performance, giving you the ability to provide college coaches and scouts exactly what they are looking for. Video to allow them to best evaluate your movements and data to see how your metrics measure up to the standards of their program. Designed with feedback from some of the best college programs and MLB scouts alike, your stat manager video will work for you more than any showcase ever could and at a fraction of the cost. Sign up today. back here to St. John's Country Day. Andrew Gibson, Mark Spencer with you this afternoon. Hello to all you guys watching and listening to our broadcast today. This is the first of four games that we'll have for you this afternoon. It's the 2023 Florida Dodgers Scout Team against the 15U Clay Cobras in our first game. And 2-0 is the score right now. The Dodgers Scout Team on top of Clay. As we are into the second inning, and Isaiah Momea continues to work now for the Dodgers scout team. Isaiah part of this St. John's Country Day team that is loaded with prospects. At least six Division I commits on this year's team. And that is just incredible when you think about a high school team, a high school program with six D1 guys. That is what you have here at St. John's in Orange Park in the Jacksonville area. This pitch high for, once again, the Florida Dodgers scout team. And Isaiah Momea had two strikeouts in the first inning. And he's got a three and two full count. It's Austin Zala. Here's the 3-2. Swung through it, and that'll be a strikeout, the third strikeout of the day for the Florida Dodgers scout team at Maumea. Two-nothing to score right now. Florida Dodgers scout team coached by Tom Lucas. Strike on the inside corner. Ooh. 
this pitch, another off-speed offering from Mamea, called strike on the outside corner. Swing and a miss, and another strike, and he did catch the foul tip, so that is another strikeout, number four today for Mamea. Turn off my phone for about a minute and then turn back on. Nicholas Rank at the plate now. First baseman and also does a little pitching for Clay as well. Travis McQuaig and also Josh Persinger coaching up the Clay Cobras. Got a couple of travel ball teams with Clay, 15 and U, 15 U and also 17 U as well. They're in action today at another ballpark on this Saturday afternoon. Chase Haggard, here's the next pitch to him. That's an off speed pitch upstairs to Chase. Chase 0 for 1 today already. As again, Mamea had a quick 1 2 3 first inning. And he swings through that pitch. Another strikeout, the fifth strikeout of the day. For Isaiah Mamea, 2-0, Florida Dodgers scout team headed down to the bottom of the second. There is now a more effective and a less expensive way to promote your ability as a baseball or softball player. Welcome to Stat Manager Prospect Videos. Say goodbye to the old way of hoping to be seen at a showcase. Start controlling your own destiny and controlling who sees your skills. When you get a Stat Manager Prospect video, you'll also receive a full data breakdown of your performance, giving you the ability to provide college coaches and scouts exactly what they are looking for. Video to allow them to best evaluate your movements and data to see how your metrics measure up to the standards of their program. Designed with feedback from some of the best college programs and MLB scouts alike, your stat manager video will work for you more than any showcase ever could and at a fraction of the cost. Sign up today for your own stat manager video. Yes. Perfect. Wait, Mark, go a little bit more to the right. Okay. <clears throat> I say. A smidge to the left. Just a little bit. You're good. Perfect. Here to St. John's Country Day as we head to the bottom half of the second inning. The Florida Dodgers scout team, 2 0 on top of the Clay Cobras, 15 U team. Most of this Clay team is also 2023. They have one 2024 guy. Preston Andrews is a 2024. But the rest of the 15 U roster is 2023. And that includes Aiden Hampton. Here's a high fly ball, deep left field. And what a catch over in left field, running near the warning track and making a catch. He had took that first step in. The, the, the one mistake you don't want to make as an outfielder, and he is able to uh, make up for it there. So a uh, flash of the leather out there in left field. Very nice play made by the Clay Cobras. One down here in the bottom of the second inning. Andrew Gibson, Mark Spencer with you. Here's 
is the first pitch to Andrade as Brown was the one who sent that one high and deep to left. And now quickly two are down here at the bottom of the second. And here is Connor Gilliam to the plate. Connor out of Creekside. We're in number four today instead of number 18. First pitch is inside for a strike. Aiden Hampton's been throwing in the 70s for the most part today. His counterpart on the mound has been in the 80s this afternoon. And this one off the back of Gilliam. Got him right on the top of the four. And that one was at, at 77 miles per hour. And so he will take first base. And now we'll see Gavin Bradley to the plate. Bradley wearing number 10 this afternoon. Bradley out of Oakleaf. Several of these schools close by Oakleaf. St. John's Country Day, that's where we are here today. Fleming Island, Creekside. A lot of local prospects. Entirely local in, in terms of these teams today. Yeah, I remember I was talking to some players this morning doing the hitter evaluations, and I said, hey, where are you guys from? And they mentioned Bartram, yeah. Episcopal. Like, they were all different schools. I thought that was great. Of course, Clay High School representing the Clay Cobras today. A lot of their guys from that high school team, coached by Josh Persinger. Which is great, right? If you know, if we, we've got to provide more options for players. We can't make this just for people that have the the funds to do it. And right. I think it's great that Clay and other schools are stepping up and you know taking time this summer to let the kids play a little bit. Here's the pitch to Bradley. A runner is off, down to second, and there will be a stolen base by Sean Andre. At a St. John's Country Day, steals the bag without incident, standing up on that play. So now another situation where Aiden Hampton will go to the stretch. Here's the pitch. And this one bounced, I believe it hit the plate. And Andre was off of the pitch as well, so he's down at third. Already a 2-0 score, the Dodgers leading the Cobras here in the second. And the Dodgers are looking for more with runners at first and third. Here's the pitch from Hampton. Outside, strike. And this is Sean Alvers. At the plate from the left side. Here's the pitch, and this one outside for him. Sean playing against his home team, the Clay Cobras. Sean plays at Clay High School. Got a slight bat waggle from that left side. And here's the pitch. Runner's going. At least the runner at second will steal the base. And that is Bradley coming up with the steal. Coach Tom Lucas not afraid to put runners in motion today. The Florida Dodgers scout team, every time they've been on base, their guys have been running. Here's the pitch. And this one outside. Hampton's got to be a little bit frustrated. He's given up a couple of runs already and now has runners at second and third. Here's the pitch to Albers, and this one is a foul ball. Just, just foul. foul, huh? Yeah, just foul, right? Down the left field line. We try to lean, you know, we lean our body, we, we cringe and we tighten up, but still doesn't seem to keep the ball fair, right? All that help. It's like exit velocity on that one, 79, is that right, Mark? That is correct. The pitch was 78 miles per hour. 
from Aiden Hampton. And so Alvers choking up here with runners at second and third. Here's the pitch. And there's ball number four. So now bases are loaded here for Hampton. It's another situation, back-to-back -back innings, where he's had the bases loaded. You know, Andrew, I've seen a lot of batting practice in my day. Mm -hmm. In batting practice, they don't hit everything fair right. and perfect. Sometimes you got to throw it down the middle and make your defense make a play. And there's a pitch right down the middle. Yeah, I mean, some of the time that you've seen today from Hampton, he has been trying to work the corners a little bit. I think some of that, Mark, is just trying to play it safe maybe a little bit. You know, mm -hmm. not trying to put something right over the middle where these Dodger scout guys can crush it. As Thomas is at the plate for the Dodger scout team with the bases loaded, they've had several opportunities already early in this game to put runners across and already with a 2-0 lead. Here's the pitch, and this one inside. And as I was saying, Mark, uh, Coach Tom Lucas, uh, the coach of this Dodger scout team, he's not afraid to put guys in motion. They've yep. been stealing bases all day. Yep. Not afraid to run. You know, coaches will pay if the, if the pitcher doesn't seem to be paying attention to the runners and go. Yeah, Hampton hasn't made a pickoff attempt at all today, and that's a nice pitch on the outside. At 77 miles per hour. What kind of numbers are you seeing on the flight scope today, Mark? Uh, so these are, this. I mean, that's a good, he's a uh, rising sophomore, so that's a good number to be, right? Um, high 70s, there's a chopper to short, let's see if he can make the play. Yep, does make the play on the first, but a run almost scored. That's the third out of the inning, so still 2-0. A nice job of Aiden Hampton to get out of that jam. Bases loaded jam, but no run score. 2 to nothing. heading out of the third. There is now a more effective and less expensive way to promote your ability as a baseball or softball player. Welcome to Stat Manager Prospect Videos. Say goodbye to the old way of hoping to be seen at a showcase. Start controlling your own destiny and controlling who sees your skills. When you get a Stat Manager Prospect video, you'll also receive a full data breakdown of your performance, giving you the ability to provide college coaches and scouts exactly what they are looking for. Video to allow them to best evaluate your movements and data to see how your metrics measure up to the standards of their program. Designed with feedback from some of the best college programs and MLB scouts alike. Your stat manager video will work for you more than any showcase ever could and at a fraction of the cost. Sign up today for your own stat manager video. Got a pitching change now for the Florida Dodgers scout team as coming on to pitch is Jacob Thomas. As I was talking earlier to the Dodgers scout team coach Tom Lucas, and he said that his starter today will go two innings, and they're going to throw a couple other guys that are going to get at least two innings a piece of work, and that's exactly the, uh, the way that they go today as Isaiah Momea struck out five in his only two innings of work. That's pretty good work that's for Momea out of St. John's Country Day. This is another guy that's familiar with this ballpark, and that's Jacob Thomas, the left-hander. He is now on the mound for the Dodgers scout team in his home ballpark, and he'll get at least two innings of work today as well in this action of today's game. Elijah Roberts is at the plate. That one fouled straight back to us. Even though there's a net in front of you and there's a ball that's fouled <laughs> right in front of you, you kind of jump back, don't you? Self-preservation is a very strong trait that we're all born with. That's right. This is a left-on-left -left matchup to start the third inning. And that's always a tough one, a left-on-left. -left. I mean, I'm not left-handed, but I know guys that try to face a left-hander that's throwing pretty good stuff, and it's tough. There's already a strikeout for... Jacob Thomas. You know what he did there? He just kept the ball over the plate. Yep. You know, just challenge these guys. Go at him. Challenge him. And 
a lot of times you just get up there and throw strikes. You're going to be to have the ball put in play for your defense, or you're going to get some swing and misses. And sometimes, you know, getting a strike and throwing a strike, two different things, right? right. Thomas continues to pump strikes in for the Florida Dodgers scout team. Another strike, and that one may be a little bit outside, but a called strike. And a fast worker is Thomas. Ground ball to second base and not able to make the play. And that was Henry trying to make the play but couldn't come up with it. Now as a hitter, you have to remember, you got that one. Uh, some of the really hard hit ones you hit to the outfielder, you can't complain too much because you get some of those too, you know? Now we don't have an official score. Where are you going with that? Oh, that's a hit. That's a yeah, hit. That's a hit. I, I would think so. There's a pickoff attempt. That's the first one we've seen today. And of course, when you're a left-handed pitcher, the pickoff is a little bit easier. Get over there. And you mentioned that uh, that little dribbler there. That's a hit. You know, in NASCAR, Dale Earnhardt used to say that's just one of them deals. So that's <laughs> just one of them deals. I hear him you know? saying that yeah. too. Absolutely. Fouled off there, so another strike. And that's one of those pitches that wasn't a strike if you were just throwing to no batter. Right. But it induced the strike, right? Two different things. Keep it over the plate, they're going to swing at it. So a runner at first, another pickoff attempt, and I don't think he's trying to get too far off the bag there. As this is Preston Andrews at the plate for the Cobras. He's the only 2024 on this Cobras team today. Here's the pitch, this one inside. Again, Jacob Thomas is one of those guys that a coach, especially a pitching coach, loves to see. He just works fast and throws strikes. Infielders love that. That's right. They sure do. So, you know, we have some guests here in the, in the booth. One of them is, is a high school coach here in town. And I'd like to talk to you a little bit about, on a left-handed pitcher, what do you try to as we head to the bottom half. A double play ends the bottom half of the inning. We go now to the bottom of the third. There is now a more effective and a less expensive way to promote your ability as a baseball or softball player. Welcome to Stat Manager Prospect Videos. Say goodbye to the old way of hoping to be seen at a showcase. Start controlling your own destiny and controlling who sees your skills. When you get a Stat Manager Prospect video, you'll also receive a full data breakdown of your performance, giving you the ability to provide college coaches and scouts exactly what they are looking for. Video to allow them to best evaluate your movements and data to see how your metrics measure up to the standards of their program. Designed with feedback from some of the best college programs and MLB scouts alike, your stat manager video will work for you more than any showcase ever could and at a fraction of the cost. Sign up today for your own stat manager video. Welcome you back here to St. John's Country Day, a beautiful Saturday afternoon, and just glad to be back out here watching baseball. Andrew Gibson, Mark Spencer, and uh, a guest with us uh, today as well, the Oakleaf coach, Mark. Tell us who's with us today. Sal, my man Sal. How you doing, bud? How about yourself? Doing good. Doing well. We were just talking, uh, guys, before the break about um, you know what you like to see from a left-handed pitcher. Now we see Aiden Hampton continue. He's the right-hander, but... Uh, we just saw uh, Jacob Thomas pitching from the left side for the Florida Dodgers scout team. Just continue with that conversation you were having there, Coach. Uh, I think uh, what Mark was uh, jumping on as far as what he's trying to see from a left-hand oh, pitcher on a base running standpoint. So 
uh, like I said, what I, what I was indicating prior was, you know, early in the game, you want to probably just use your one-way lead technique, try to figure him out, see what, what, what kind of move he has, and then from there, you take your advantage. But uh, the majority of the time, as far as what we do on our, on our, our program is, um, once, he, once he shows that he's getting ready to, to, to make that first move and go to the home plate, you got to go. You got to go. got to go. Got to be uh, forthright with your decision, that's for sure. Uh, so an error made by the shortstop that time for Clay, and so that'll put a runner at first for the Dodger scout team. And once again, uh, Henry back at the plate. Jeffrey Henry this time. Mark, how many cameras are set up here today? So we have two today. We have the center field camera. Here's a throw to second. And again, we talk about it. The Dodger scout team still in another base. That's been one of the early themes of this game is that these guys are, are just not afraid to run. They're all gas, no brakes today. I think what's going to need to happen is if there's a Dodger player on base, just ask me yes, no questions. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I think you're right. But two cameras today, Two right? cameras today, yep. So it's home field or uh, center field and home plate. Very nice. And we got the flight scope as well set up. Tell people that aren't maybe familiar with flight scope mm -hmm. what it is and what it does. So you can see it in the center field cam. You see it right there. It's that little white box that is just above the umpire. It's uh, here behind the screen. It's uh, got a Doppler radar in it. It tracks the ball out of the player's hand. It uses actually military defense technology. Um, same thing as TrackMan, just another brand. So there's like the Honda and Toyota and cars. You have TrackMan and flight scope and, and uh, baseball tracking. There's a base hit right up the middle. Let's see how aggressive the runner is. He will just stop there at third, but it's a nice base hit for Henry. Nice piece of hitting right straight up the middle. So, the you know, that's example. You would define that as a line drive, right? Well, that was a 19-degree launch angle, okay? In a batting cage, 19 degrees is going to hit the top of the net just past the L screen. There are a lot of coaches that would think in BP, oh, that's too high. No, it's, it's going over the pitcher. He's to go over that L screen. So that was a really nice piece of hitting right there. Here's a left-hander from Episcopal. Liam O'Neill, another stolen base. That's another one. They, I think the approach is when you get on base, you just go. I, I don't think there's any, there's nothing to, to even say about it. There's no sign. I'm not at third base touching my nose to no. tell you to go. Yeah, it's I like, think the third base coach was on his phone the whole time. <laughs> exactly. I don't think he even looked up. You yeah. got the green light at always, it seems like. Here's the pitch. I mean, Hampton, for Clay, has been in the stretch all day. Yeah. I mean, he's he's been in it all day. Because as soon as the Dodger guys get on base, they're they're going. And here is once again Liam O'Neill, the big left-hander from Episcopal. He's been up twice today, and, and both times he's had runners in scoring position. That's a great point right there. He he didn't try to nibble too much. That was over the plate. Um, you know, Liam wasn't able to time it up, and he got contact, but it's a strike, right? So don't try to nibble too much. You got good stuff. Go right at it. So, an error and a base hit so far. And here's a fly ball to left. Let's see if this will get the runner home. I think it will. Here's a throw. And it'll be cut off. Now going back to second base, got they've got the runner nabbed off at second. And every baseball coach in the country is very happy because he hit his cutoff man. That's right. Right? Exactly. <laughs> I'm looking at two coaches right now that are here in the booth, and they're both smiling very, very wide. Well, because a lot of times, especially when you're a left fielder, you're and you've got a guy at third, you're, I'm, I'm going to try to gun him down. And that wasn't that deep of a fly. Right, so exactly. he thinks, no, it's, it's about getting it out. Exactly. Just get it out. Hit your cutoff man. Trust the play. And at this age, if you get, you trade two outs for one run all day long. Yes. If you can't get one run in JV baseball, yeah, it's a hard day anyway. Exactly. Outs are take outs anytime you can get them. Yep. It's Jason Maloney here back there as well with us today. We've got a crowded press box. I love it. Got a lot of voices in here today. Oakley player at Lander. That's right. Oh, there's a big swing and a miss. He thought about some nice little oh, change up there. Home nice. run distance on that swing. Over the plate. Challenge these hitters. And this is uh Connor Gilliam, again. Big, strong-looking kid from the right side. That was a little curveball nibbled on the inside, just missed. 
you know, with, with what I do, we go around and we, we analyze a lot of batting practices is what I normally am spending time with, collecting data. And, and, and what we see is even, you know, even with coaches pumping those batting practice you know, pitches down the middle, these guys are not batting 600 or 700 in batting practice. They aren't. Mm -hmm. This one a grounder. It's a fair ball off the glove of the third baseman. And everybody's going to be safe on the play. That was a tough play for Austin Zala at third base. Okay, so we have a Dodger runner on first. I'm going to watch the third base coach. Currently, he's talking to other people. I don't see a sign. Let's. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't see. I don't think... Uh, I think he's getting on his phone now. He's, he's maybe placing a uh, Uber Eats <laughs> uh, order or something. Let's see. Here's the stretch again. Not going this time. <laughs> okay. And strike. I don't know if... Um, is that Ian at first base or Jacob that just got the hit? Um, I don't know if he's much of a threat on the base paths, but I'm not sure. But he still might go. Let's see. No. And there's a foul ball third base side. Ahead of the count pretty quick there, right? Get those two strikes. Now this is where I you know this is where a lot of discussions can happen with coaches. I don't I don't want to nibble here. Let's go. Right. Maybe I go up or down on the zone, but I'll still want the ball over the plate. Because that that hitter now is gonna be a little cautious and defensive. Just go at him. Because maybe I can get a double play out of it if he hits it weak enough. From the stretchers, Hampton again. Swung on, and that'll be strike number three, and that is Isaiah Momea striking out with a runner stranded at first. That was Waters, number 18, and that will do it as we head now to the fourth inning. Still 2 nothing. your score. There is now a more effective and a less expensive way to promote your ability as a baseball or softball player. Welcome to Stat Manager Prospect Videos. Say goodbye to the old way of hoping to be seen at a showcase. Start controlling your own destiny and controlling who sees your skills. When you get a Stat Manager Prospect video, you'll also receive a full data breakdown of your performance, giving you the ability to provide college coaches and scouts exactly what they are looking for. Video to allow them to best evaluate your movements and data to see how your metrics measure up to the standards of their program. Designed with feedback from some of the best college programs and MLB scouts alike, your stat manager video will work for you more than any showcase ever could and at a fraction of the cost. Sign up today for your own stat manager video. Me first. How many? Yeah, no, oh, yeah, no. How many? No. Oh, I know we did. I know a couple. Oh, yeah. A lot of people didn't jump. Welcome back here to St. John's Country Day. Andrew Gibson, Mark Spencer, and the Oak Leaf baseball coach with us as well today. Got several guys in our booth this afternoon. And when you look at this, uh, these teams out here today, one of the things, Mark, that Coach Tom Lucas and I were talking about before the game is that, I mean, these guys are rusty right now because their season was cut short. Mm -hmm. And a lot of places are still shut down. You know, a lot of places where these guys could get reps and could play some baseball are shut down. So it's really cool to have something that you guys are putting on today for these guys to just get out and play in the summertime. Yeah, and I think what was really nice to hear, um, you know, I'm more on the development side. I don't coach. I kind of observe. But I was outside a second ago, and I heard one of the coaches say to the pitcher, I forget which one it was, says, hey, this is your last pitch. Make it a good one. Yeah. Right? So they're under pitch counts, which I think is really responsible. Um, you know, these coaches aren't out here to win the game. They're out here to get their players reps and help these players improve. And so that's this is what this is about, is development. And this is the second inning of work for now for Jacob Thomas on the mound out of St. John's as he records a strikeout quickly of Carlos Brow. He's down on strikes, the first baseman. A little 78 mile an hour fastball there in the inside corner. And this will be Noah Rodriguez, the third baseman at the plate now against Thomas. And this one quickly backs him off the plate inside. Looks like Thomas kind of works across his body a little bit with his delivery, so when he misses, he's probably going to miss more inside to the right. There we 
go. A little high strike on the outside corner. Throwing in the, looks like the high 70s today for Thomas. That one nearly 78 miles per hour. And a late swing. That was not a half-hearted swing. He went entirely around, but that was an off-speed pitch. Kind of threw him off. Yeah, so that was a curveball, and I could tell by the spin rate, just over 2,000 RPM. We'll talk about that here in just a second. So as you're looking, I'm sorry to interrupt, but as you're looking on the screen, the, the top number is going to be the miles per hour. Mm -hmm. The next number you see, it usually vacillates between in the thousands or two thousands. That's the RPM of the pitch. And then the last number there is the tilt of the pitch, so the direction of the spin. Those are the numbers that scouts and colleges like to look for. Where is a, like a number that you'd like to see a spin rate be at? Where, where's yeah. that range you're looking for? It varies by pitch type. So on a fastball, on a four-seam fastball, you want it to be a high number, over 2,000. A little fly ball right center might drop in. It's a, it's a flare to right center that does fall in for a base hit. So the fastball around 2,000? Yeah, over 2,000 is great. And those of us in the data community, um, we enjoy those right there because you hit it in the air a little bit. So mm -hmm. good things happen in the air too. But that was a good piece of hitting. So on the pitching side, that last pitch is 1900, which is still fine. But basically, what a high spin rate in a fastball will do is create the illusion to the hitter that the ball is rising. It's not going to rise, but the ball doesn't drop at the typical rate of a normal pitch. So the more back spin that a pitch has, the more basically lift or lack of drop that the pitch has. Noah Rodriguez with the base hit. This is Joshua Rao at the plate, but Rodriguez with that base hit. What can you tell us about uh, the data on that hit? Yep, so he hit it uh, 65 miles an hour, which you know is not real high, but he hit it high enough in the air to get it to the outfield. So 29 degrees is defined in the fly ball defined range. Uh, line drives are 10 degrees to 24 degrees. Fly balls are 25 to 40 degrees. So that was a lower end uh, fly ball and uh, hit to the right spot where the outfielders were. And it's a great example. There's there's only three players out there, right? Mm -hmm. There's six players in this shortstop area here. Oh, look at that. Good play. Grounder to the third. Nice play. Possibly a double play, and it is. A double play to end the inning. A nice play made down over at third base. And that was Thomas who came up with a play at third and also gets the double play. So that will wipe away the runner on base for Clay. And now we head out now to the bottom half of the fourth. Two nothing still Dodgers lead. There is now a more effective and a less expensive way to promote your ability as a baseball or softball player. Welcome to Stat Manager Prospect Videos. Say goodbye to the old way of hoping to be seen at a showcase. Start controlling your own destiny and controlling who sees your skills. When you get a Stat Manager Prospect video, you'll also receive a full data breakdown of your performance, giving you the ability to provide college coaches and scouts exactly what they are looking for. Video to allow them to best evaluate your movements and data to see how your metrics measure up to the standards of their program. Designed with feedback from some of the best college programs and MLB scouts alike, your stat manager video will work for you more than any showcase ever could and at a fraction of the cost. Sign up today for your own stat manager video. Dodgers. Just want to make sure. New pitcher on the mound now for the Clay Blue Devils. Well, they're the Clay Cobras. I get used to saying the Clay Blue Devils, but uh, the Clay Cobras on this travel ball team today. This is Nicholas Rank, a 2023 Pitcher and first baseman, you see him play a little bit at first and also on the mound. And he is now on the pitch here for Clay against this Florida Dodgers scout team that is impressing so far this afternoon. They've had several runners on base and they've put a couple across to score a few runs. 2 nothing our score. Dodgers scout team on top.
Here's Bryce Pelready from Creekside at the plate to lead off this inning. Bryce is the sixth place hitter today for the Dodger Scout team. <laughs> and Wright throws a strike this time, throwing a little bit off speed. 68 miles per hour that, that pitch. Nothing. Your score here in the fifth. This one is fouled on third base side. Playing seven innings today in this ball game, as it's traditional for high school. Empire's going to go out and talk to Nicholas Rank for a second. Not sure what the discussion is. Teams have dodged the rain this afternoon for the most part. We've seen a lot of rain in the Jacksonville area this past week, really the last couple of weeks. It's done nothing but rain. Here's a base hit to the, through the right side, trying to come over and make a play, but that one gets through the second baseman's glove as Joshua Rao tried to make that play, but just right underneath his glove. So that will slide through for a base hit. And now you'll see the pitcher. This is Jacob Thomas at the plate, the left-handed pitcher and batter now at the plate. And Thomas has worked now two innings on the mound. Now he stands in at the plate. Here's the pitch. Another left on left matchup. Dodgers have slowed down just a little bit on the base pass. They haven't sent every runner that comes to base. At least not yet. And there's a swing that Thomas wished he could have had back. That one went halfway around. Once again, working from the stretch is Nicholas Rank. Here's the pitch, runner going. Swung on, it's a hit and run opportunity. As all the way over to third, it's a base hit. So runners in first and third now for the Dodger scout team. A beautiful hit and run put on that time by the Dodgers. Runner off from first to second. A base hit to right field. Runner goes all the way to third. And this is Wyatt Dietrich now at the plate for the Dodgers. After a base hit from his pitcher, Jacob Thomas. There's a breaking ball upstairs. So runners in scoring position once again for the Florida Dodgers scout team, already with a 2-0 lead here in the fifth. Runners edge away. Here's the pitch. This one swung on by Dietrich. It'll fall in for a base hit. A run will score. An RBI single for Wyatt Dietrich. Ball got away from the second baseman, and he got it out at third. Got the runner off from second to third, and he is out. And Dietrich ends up at second. So a run scores for the Dodgers scout team to make it 3 nothing now. But an out is recorded on the basis that time at third.
Kellen Brown at the plate. He skies one to left. That'll be the second out quickly as Kellen Brown flies out to left field. That's up. Uh -huh. That's up. Sean Andrade is at the plate now for the Dodgers. He is the next hitter for Coach Tom Lucas. Looks at a breaking ball outside, and that one called a strike at 70 miles per hour. Two down in the inning. Wyatt Dietrich stands at second, just off the second base bag after an RBI single. And now Sean Andrade at the plate. Fouls this one back. Pretty good crowd out here today for summer league travel baseball to watch these guys play. Again, the local area well represented. St. John's Country Day, Fleming Island, Bartram Trail, just to name a few schools that are out here today. Wyatt Dietrich, who is at second base with the RBI single. He is out of Fleming Island. Kellen Brown, who just flew out to left, he's from Bartram Trail. Sean Andrade at the plate is from St. John's Country Day. And he puts one into left field, this down the third base line. Wyatt Dietrich will come around to score, and Sean Andre has an RBI single. Make it 4 0 Dodgers. Dodgers doing a nice job when they get guys on base, they drive them home. That's exactly what you want to see. And Coach Lucas, his team is. Really putting on a clinic of doing just that today. And now we see Connor Gilliam at the plate. Connor Gilliam from Creekside. That's from the right hand side. Gets Nicholas Rank from Clay. There's a bouncer to third. This should be an out. Can never take those for granted, but that is out number three. A grounder out to third, but a run does score. A couple of runs do score in this inning. Two come across. It's now 4 0 Dodgers. There is now a more effective and a less expensive way to promote your ability as a baseball or softball player. Welcome to Stat Manager Prospect Videos. Say goodbye to the old way of hoping to be seen at a showcase. Start controlling your own destiny and controlling who sees your skills. When you get a Stat Manager Prospect video, you'll also receive a full data breakdown of your performance, giving you the ability to provide college coaches and scouts exactly what they are looking for. Video to allow them to best evaluate your movements and data to see how your metrics measure up to the standards of their program. Designed with feedback from some of the best college programs and MLB scouts alike, your stat manager video will work for you more than any showcase ever could and at a fraction of the cost. Sign up today for your own stat manager video. Number is that 42? Jackie Robinson out there. Okay. Yeah, you're back live. Do you do posts or try to New pitcher on the mound for the Florida Dodgers scout team it is Tyler Ward. Tyler Ward out of Fleming Island nearby here at St. John's Country Day here in the Arch Park area of Jacksonville. Glad you guys are with us today. It's a 4-0 lead for the Dodgers against the Clay Cobras in a travel summer league game today. Just Glad to be back out on the field playing baseball. This uh, coronavirus pandemic uh, cut short everybody's season this year, and I think most teams, at least the teams I've talked to, only got to play eight or ten games uh, this year. And I think, for example, the St. John's baseball team started out eight and one. Uh, 
Uh, this was an absolutely loaded team and continues to be that. They only had one senior graduate this year. And that is a pitcher going to, I believe, Flagler. But uh, this St. John's Country Day team, uh, the park in which we're playing today, has a bunch of talent on their team. As do both of these teams out here today, most of these guys are 2023 20, prospects. As the hat flies off of Tyler Ward, who's on to pitch now. And Aiden Hampton is at the plate. Hampton tossed a couple innings on the mound earlier today for Slay. And look out, this is a foul ball. Sir. Third base side, so just past the dugout. That one trickled into left field. But out of play. Mark Spencer back with us. Hey. Mark, Mark you, where did you go? I had to go, I was looking to recalibrate some things, as okay. they say. Absolutely. Check out the pet pig downstairs. I did see the pet pig downstairs. <laughs> what, what is that about? There's just somebody with a little pig down there. Oh, okay. Fan? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, okay. Watch this in baseball, brought the pig. <laughs> on a leash. Gotta love it. Not a dog, but a pig. I learned uh, early in life, everyone's got a story, Andrew. <laughs> and this one, out of the zone, I guess. I think that's like one, a little down, huh? Yeah, that one's been called a strike a few times today, but that one... We actually have the ability now to look at the location here. So just like the fox tracks, if you look at oh, the yeah, screen, absolutely. so you'll see where the pitch can can miss. This is Chase Haggard back at the plate, the 2023 catcher for Clay, and he puts this mm -hmm. one into right center. A nice piece of hitting mm -hmm. as Wyatt Dietrich will come over and field it in right field. But a nice base hit. What does the data say there? Data says that's a line drive, 21 degrees uh, launch angle. And even though hit at 73 miles an hour, you can get away with a little more when you're able to hit it over those infielders. And the pitch by Ward, 80 miles per hour. And that one put in play for a base hit. We're going to give him 81. This is 80.8. We're okay. going to give him 81. How's Absolutely. that? I'm That's, a nice guy like that. I think, it, what, what, anything over five, you're going to round up a little bit? Is that yep, it? yep. But that's the great thing about this is it can be you know, down to the tenth. So if you want to get picky, we can. This one inside, that one... 77, we'll call it, 77.1. Yeah, but if you see a 23 like this throwing at 81, that's, that's nice. That's good, very good. That'll definitely get some attraction for sure. And again, the pitcher is Tyler Ward from Fleming Island on the mound for this Florida Dodgers scout team. The 2023 group, the 2022 group, is going to be playing in our next game. There's a pickoff down to first as Liam O'Neill applies a tag, but runner is back. From the stretch is Ward, as this is Austin Zala at the plate, a 2023 catcher. Plays third base, too. That's where he's been stationed at today in this lineup. And he will take a walk, already down to first base for a walk. Uh, a patient at bat that time by Austin. Now we're going to get a, a brief mound visit to go out there and talk with Tyler Ward. But again, as we mentioned, a couple more games coming up today, Mark. Yeah, I've got a few few teams in. Um, I think this is the, the tournament is being hosted by Coach Parkin. And so they're using a couple different ballparks. And thankfully, Tom Lucas has uh, let us set up here to have you here to, to broadcast it and also get some some video and data on some of their players. You know, we're able to take this video and, and create a, a uh, highlight reel and recruiting video out of this for them. So it really is nice. That's excellent. I mean, that's uh, absolutely next level stuff. It's next level thinking. I mean, just being able to uh, get these guys, um, you know, eyes on, on their abilities. Well, and, and now, you know, college coaches aren't allowed to recruit this summer. They can't go on the road. So they're not going to be at these showcases. So why not go to them? Yeah. They're sitting in their offices, they're sitting in their in their houses. They can dial into this game, and when we post this game, uh, we're going to post it on YouTube. 
uh, tomorrow, and we'll be able to have it uh, on there, and coaches can go to it any time, and a player could send a link to a coach if they want. Here's a pitch high and inside. You know, I, I thought it was interesting. Um, Tom House, longtime mm -hmm. pitching coach. Do you know Tom? No, I don't know him. I was a, I grew up in the uh, Dallas area, so he was a big, you know, the pitching coach for the Rangers and yep. pitched for the Rangers for a while. And he caught Hank Aaron's uh, right. historic home run. Yeah, that's right. Seven fifteen. Yeah, that's right. Um, but I, I thought it was interesting. I, I followed Tom House on Twitter, and he said something the other day um, as we await the pitch from Ward. This oh, nice, nice. curveball! That's a there. nice Very curveball. Very nice. See where that one went. 64 miles per hour. So he changed the pace. Think about that. So 81 mile an hour fastball, right? 64 mile an hour breaking ball for a strike with a 2,000 RPM, which means it's going to be breaking a lot. Yeah. I mean, you you, you saw that spin uh, on that breaking ball. That was very nice from from Ward. And there's a strike on the outside corner. Went back to the fastball, a little bit off speed. Not as hard as he's thrown before, but 77 near 78, still pretty good. Well, this video can be improved important for him to see from the stretch he does lose some velocity yeah as soon as the player got on base he went from you know 79 81 to he's a little more 76 to 79 now we'll get back to the uh, thought on tom house in a second as once again this is nice pitch. chase haggard at the plate but so tom house said on twitter the other day the world has changed all you need is talent and a phone to change your career yep. Uh, trajectory in baseball, and he's talking about the uh, the draft pick Luke Little mm -hmm. uh, that threw 105 mm -hmm. uh, earlier this year. Another strikeout this time, but uh, just got drafted by the Cubs. And, and the point being is like you just set up a phone and maybe you have some data, and, and you can get yourself out there. As we go now to the bottom half, it's four nothing. The Dodgers scout team continues to control this game against Clay. There is now a more effective and less expensive way to promote your ability as a baseball or softball player. Welcome to Stat Manager Prospect Videos. Say goodbye to the old way of hoping to be seen at a showcase. Start controlling your own destiny and controlling who sees your skills. When you get a Stat Manager Prospect video, you'll also receive a full data breakdown of your performance, giving you the ability to provide college coaches and scouts exactly what they are looking for. Video to allow them to best evaluate your movements and data to see how your metrics measure up to the standards of their program. Designed with feedback from some of the best college programs and MLB scouts alike, your stat manager video will work for you more than any showcase ever could and at a fraction of the cost. Sign up today for your own stat manager video. Nothing bottom of the fifth as we rejoin you here at St. John's Country Day. Andrew Gibson, Mark Spencer, Jason Maloney with us as well here in the press box at St. John's. And uh, as I said before, I, I don't want to try to jinx anything, but we've dodged the rain today, Mark. This has uh, been good. Yeah, I think I'm going to, with you saying that, I'm going to pack up and, <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, it's just, I mean, this is time of year, you know, yeah, it's yeah. just summertime. We got some summer ball here today. Love to be here and uh, help help you guys out broadcasting this game. Nice pitch. What can you tell us about that pitch? So that looks like it's a changeup. Uh, he's throwing at 68.8. The reason I, I think it's a changeup, the spin rate was fairly low, and it's clearly an off speed. But we'll see some of his other stuff. There's a base hit through the left side, and that'll get through. He threw the, basically an identical pitch the second time. You, know, you give these hitters, a good player, the same look again, they're going to hit it. And that time, that was Bradley with a base hit. Gavin Bradley out of Oak Leaf with a base hit. Just past the third baseman and into left field. So here is Albers. Another left-handed hitter for Coach Tom Lucas, Sean Alvers out of Clay. Again, we mentioned this before, he's a Clay guy playing against uh, some of his Clay teammates here. 
He came, right? Messi had just practiced for him. He came in this morning and uh, did one of our hitter uh, evaluations. So that was, saw him in there this morning, taking some hacks and bright and early at 9 a.m. Good. Yeah, love to see that. What, uh, what did you take away from some of the hitter evaluations today? So there were some 23s that, that touched 90 miles per hour, which is kind of that barrier. Here you go. This is possibly a double play out at second and fast runner. Did they call him out at first? No, save. Yeah, save at first. So a nice fielder's choice play, but continue. So, um, you know, for some, or a 23, if you reach 90, that's, that's a good exit velocity, the speed of the ball off the bat, right? So exit velocity, 90 miles per hour shows you're making some very, very good contact. Uh, for the 22s, that's where you pretty much need to be now. You need to be able to do that on a regular basis. Fast runner, he's going to steal that one with ease. A head first slide as Alvarez steals second base for the Dodgers. I think Tom, like, maybe let his foot off the gas a little bit with the guys running, but now it's back on the gas. <laughs> yeah. And that was on a lefty pitcher. You know, we had just talked about... Um, you know, seeing that first move and the, the runner there clearly Alvarez clearly had the confidence to go and, and he made it happen. This is Connor Thomas out of Wolfson High School in Jacksonville at the plate. And Connor stands with the bat just right on his shoulder. There's a bouncer to first base. It's going to get away. That one initially looked like a very routine play, but off of the glove of the first baseman. That's one of those, you look like he was... He knew he was going to get the ball, yep. right? So he was thinking, okay, I'm going to tag the base and wing it over to third real quick. Oh, wait, I forgot to take care of that first part. Yeah, Carlos uh, Brown at first base, I mean, it, that looked like as routine as it could get, but it just went right off of his glove. Sometimes baseball happens. That's right. I thought for sure that was going to be, like you said, just field it, step on the bag, fire a seed over to third, check the runner, but... Again, you can never take any of those plays for granted. You know, coaches that practice consequences in practice, you know, that's where that comes in. You can practice that play all day long, but if there's no consequence at practice to do it, maybe there's laps involved, or maybe you can have the whole team not have to run laps after the or gassers. You know, put some pressure in the field because that's what that is right there. He can clearly make that play. Mm -hmm. I promise you he's made that play a hundred times in practice. But, you know, all of a sudden there's live bullets. There's players running here and there, and, you know, you got to practice that environment as well. You can't just worry about just the play. Here's Rank against Brody DeLamalure from uh, Barton Trail. There's a hit-and-run opportunity. Grounded to short. Throw over to first, and will make the play, but a run does score. The fast and quick-footed Alvers comes home, and that is the fifth run of the day for the Dodgers. 5 nothing. So two are gone now as another fielder's choice. And now we head back to the top of the lineup. Really the second hitter in this lineup. Brody was first in this lineup today by Coach Lucas. So this is Jeffrey Henry. Played third base today. So Delano Lohr, um, is that is the little brother of the... Dilemma Lore at Barthur Trail from last year, do we know? I think, I think you're right about He played that. basketball and football and baseball, a heck of an athlete. I think he ended up going to J. He was a J.U. commit at one time. J.U. commit, that. that's right, yep. Here's a ground to the third and another play off the glove. So the shortstop's going to have to come over and retrieve this one. And so Clay, you know, they've had some opportunities with some appearing to be easy plays, but haven't, haven't had easy times with them. Yeah, those, that's a ball that bounced up to eye level. You should be able to make that play. And, um, you know, but, you know, you got a runner at second, and, and like I said, it's that live bullet. But, hey, these kids have not been playing and at that speed. They had a few months off, and right. it's very difficult to simulate game speed. So an error on the third baseman puts Henry at first. Now he's going to quickly go to second without a throw. We've seen that a couple times today. Yeah. <laughs> he just... These guys are going to run and run, and sometimes you don't even get a throw over. So here is, uh, once again, O'Neal. O'Neal batting third. And 
And these days, a lot of times your best hitter is going to hit third. Not necessarily clean up, but that third spot in the order is, is where a lot of the best ones play now. Certainly your power guys, and that is what O'Neill is. Here's oh. a high fly ball, deep right field. Back to the warning track, looking up and making the play at the warning track. O'Neill with warning track power with runners at second and third. I thought you were going to call that. You had just said a player with power and he hit a deep fly. A uh -huh. deep fly with, and that's the second time today he's been at the plate with runners on. So another run does come home for the Dodgers. It's 5 nothing headed now to the bottom of the sixth. There is now a more effective and a less expensive way to promote your ability as a baseball or softball player. Welcome to Stat Manager Prospect Videos. Say goodbye to the old way of hoping to be seen at a showcase. Start controlling your own destiny and controlling who sees your skills. When you get a Stat Manager Prospect video, you'll also receive a full data breakdown of your performance, giving you the ability to provide college coaches and scouts exactly what they are looking for. Video to allow them to best evaluate your movements and data to see how your metrics measure up to the standards of their program. Designed with feedback from some of the best college programs and MLB scouts alike, your stat manager video will work for you more than any showcase ever could and at a fraction of the cost. Sign up today for your own stat manager video. Headed now to the bottom half of the sixth inning, Andrew Gibson, Mark That's Spencer with you here today for this Summer League travel ball game between the Florida Dodger scout team of 2023. That uh, class of 2023 against the Clay Cobras, also a 2023 group, a JV developmental team. Most of these guys, a lot of them JV players, and many of them are going to play varsity next year, but seasons were cut short for everybody, and these guys are just trying to get work out in here, Mark. Yeah, just reps and reps, and um, you know, it, the last inning showed the importance of game speed, right? That they might have been practicing, but they need to see the game speed and deal with deal with the pressures of, of, uh, of that speed. Elijah Roberts at the plate now for Clay. Fouls that one off third base side. As we will get another look at Tyler Ward on the mound from Fleming Island. And he has been impressive. Another strikeout for Tyler. That one at 80 miles per hour. Looks like it's probably a two-seam fastball. It, um, it had a little late run, arm side run on that. So on a left-handed hitter, he's got no chance on that. Just running away from him. Halfway to him, he thinks he can hit it, and just goes away from him. So the Florida Dodgers scout team has been pretty impressive today. Five runs, and they're pitching a shutout. They've had three pitchers today. Uh, Ward is the third guy on the mound this afternoon for the Dodgers. Another Dodger pitcher working really fast. Exactly, and I think that's been the, the message for these guys is go out there, get your work in, but work fast. That one behind the back, <laughs> just a bit outside. <laughs> outside of hit, his back. Hit the mascot, right? Yeah, exactly. What? Hit the mascot, <laughs> trust me. <laughs> Actually, that was going for the pig, wasn't it, Jason? It sure was. <laughs> At least there's a net there. Swing and a miss, and... I don't know that these clay guys have seen, you know, the kind of art talent that Ward is showing them right yeah, now. That was a changeup right there. That was really good. That was really nice. And he turned on that one. Got a quick turnaround on a fastball at 79. Well, if I lived over there, the, the camera really doesn't show it. There's some houses right behind the line there. That's two foul balls in this at bat in somebody's backyard. They can have a nice little side business. Swing and a miss and another strikeout, back-to-back -back K's for Ward. Tyler Ward is really showing some impressive stuff. That mm -hmm. fastball was 80 miles per hour. Mm -hmm. Spin rate of 1,800, Yeah, so I think it's probably a two-seam fastball, a little late move. So a two-seam fastball is going to have a little less spin right, and a little more tilt, so it's going to run and drop a little more. When I say run, that's the side-to-side -side movement right. on a fastball. Here is Preston Andrews. There's a pretty generous strike call on the outside. 81.2, that's his fastest pitch of the day right there. 
81.2. Feeling comfortable and getting rhythm going. Oh, look at that breaking ball in the dirt. Yeah, that's tough on a, on any hitter when you're going the 81 to 65. Yeah. And that one's 79.5, so nearly 80 miles per hour again. I mean, he's he's sitting 79 today, yeah. it looks yeah. like. Yeah. This one fouled off by Preston Andrews. He's a 2024 guy. So, What a great experience for him. He's, he's able to come here without a ton of pressure of traveling out of town, come see some really good arm talent, see a kid throw an 81-plus. Good experience for him. Yeah, see, he's choking up on the bat a little bit. He's just trying to get quick and try to make a little contact. Just try to make contact. I mean, and not get hit. <laughs> exactly. Well, you saw one. Oh, oh. you jinxed him. I just, wow, you sure did. Uh, 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 Preston Andrews, don't get hit, and then he absolutely gets hit on the next pitch. I promise we're not on a delay. <laughs> so Andrews is going down to first, and now we will see Carlos Brow back now in the right-hand batter's box. Nice little breaking pitch. <clears throat> Maybe a little off speed. 77. That one almost looked like a breaking ball, but it's as fast as it's two seamer. Mm -hmm. Grounder to second base. Up with it and making the play for the final out of the inning. The Florida Dodgers scout team. They are in command of this contest. It's 5 0 as we head to the seventh inning. There is now a more effective and a less expensive way to promote your ability as a baseball or softball player. Welcome to Stat Manager Prospect Videos. Say goodbye to the old way of hoping to be seen at a showcase. Start controlling your own destiny and controlling who sees your skills. When you get a Stat Manager Prospect video, you'll also receive a full data breakdown of your performance, giving you the ability to provide college coaches and scouts exactly what they are looking for. Video to allow them to best evaluate your movements and data to see how your metrics measure up to the standards of their program. Designed with feedback from some of the best college programs and MLB scouts alike, your stat manager video will work for you more than any showcase ever could and at a fraction of the cost. Sign up today for your own stat manager video. Seventh inning here at St. John's Country Day, a new pitcher on the mound. As Andrew Gibson and Mark Spencer rejoin you here, as the St. John's Country Day Spartans are hosting us today. So, Andrew, uh, I'm not real experienced at broadcasting. It's eating and opening a bag of goldfish right from the microphone. Is that probably not ideal? Okay. I'm sorry about that. I wouldn't say, but uh, we're heading out of the seventh inning. And a new pitcher on the mound, Elijah Roberts, is going to get the ball to pitch now for Clay. And he will see Tyler Waters to start off. Waters, a big, powerful right handed bat. Almost looks similar to O'Neill. There's a line drive out. What's the uh, data on that line drive? 85.5 miles an hour. So it's um, it hit really hard, but that launch angle, a little too low. So technically, it's actually a grounder. Uh, by the definition of Major League Baseball statistics, that was literally a grounder. So is the launch angle was negative four degrees, so it oh. was going down a little bit. Here's another grounder this time, and this one gets by the second baseman right through the glove and bounced off of his cleat. That's what I call it, booting it, right? That's right, that's exactly right. And that was Isaiah Mamea who came through with that ground ball. So he will reach on an error that time. And now, once again, back to the plate is Bryce. If I'm the pitcher, I'm, th I'm going to first right here. 
as much as they like to run. Bryce Pell ready from Creekside now back at the plate. Clay really could have had two quick outs, but a line drive to shortstop, another line drive grounder to second, but uh, second baseman couldn't come up with a play, so that's why Momea is at first. 5-0 lead, Dodgers on top here in the seventh. Here's the pitch from the stretch. And there's a strike on the inner half from Roberts. I'm looking at the flags in center field that blowing straight in here. Sure, why? Keep hitting those hard line drives if it will be okay here. Seen several left handers today and, uh, from both teams, really. You've seen uh, a, a pretty good variety of guys. Sure, why? out there pitching, but uh, some good left-handed talent. First baseman will hold the runner, but the runner will go, and no play at second. It's another Dodger stolen base. I don't have the official tally of how many stolen bases they have today, but I would say it's probably close to seven or eight, maybe. There's a high swing and a miss. And down on strikes is Pell Ritty, and he swung at that one. It was a very high pitch inside at 66 miles per hour, and he is down on strikes. Now Jacob Thomas, he's also pitched in this game today as well. That one fouled right off the mask of our home plate umpire. I think it caught the umpire. Yes, it did. He shook his head for a second. Yes, good. Our home plate umpire taking one off the mask that time. That's why you wear them. And this is high and inside to Jacob Thomas. Who really pitched well today on the mound for the Dodgers. Jacob does something that not a ton of players do anymore, and that's bat barehanded. You know, guys like to wear gloves, whether it be they just don't want calluses or they just like to show it off. There's a grounder to second. Up with it and making the play for out number three. And so the Dodgers are retired. As we go down to the bottom half of the seventh, it's 5 nothing. Dodgers in the command. There is now a more effective and a less expensive way to promote your ability as a baseball or softball player. Welcome to Stat Manager Prospect Videos. Say goodbye to the old way of hoping to be seen at a showcase. Start controlling your own destiny and controlling who sees your skills. When you get a Stat Manager Prospect video, you'll also receive a full data breakdown of your performance, giving you the ability to provide college coaches and scouts exactly what they are looking for. Video to allow them to best evaluate your movements and data to see how your metrics measure up to the standards of their program. Designed with feedback from some of the best college programs and MLB scouts alike, your Stat Manager video will work for you more than any showcase ever could and at a fraction of the cost. Sign up today for your own Stat Manager video. That tells me what to look for. Like, okay. There is now a more effective and a less expensive way to promote your ability as a baseball or softball player. Welcome to Stat Manager Prospect Videos. Say goodbye to the old way of hoping to be seen at a showcase. Start controlling your own destiny and controlling who sees your skills. When you get a Stat Manager Prospect video, you'll also receive a full data breakdown of your performance, giving you the ability to provide college coaches and scouts exactly what they are looking for. Video to allow them to best evaluate your movements and data to see how your metrics measure up to the standards of their bottom half of the seventh here at St. John's Country Day. 
home of the Spartans, Andrew Gibson, Mark Spencer with you this afternoon as the Florida Dodgers scout team continues to lead here in the seventh inning. New pitcher on the mound for the Dodgers scout team. You've seen him at the plate several times today, and that is Tyler Waters. He's pitching in his home park today. Waters wears number 18. And pumps a strike in to Noah Rodriguez. Rodriguez has a base hit already today. A clean base hit through the right side. Back in the fifth. And a swing and a miss. As coming in throwing strikes is Waters. And Waters is hitting the gun at 80 miles per hour. I don't know if Lucas and the, the staff for the Dodgers uh, preach this working fast, but they all seem to work fast, and I like it. I do, too. Yeah, I, I talk, had a brief conversation with him before the game, just talking about his guys, and we didn't really talk about too much of the um, just focus of what they're going to do as far as the game today, but I, you're right. I mean, they, those guys that have been on the mound, this is now their fourth pitcher today, and they've all worked fast. And this is Tyler Waters, one of Coach Lucas's guys here at St. John's. And there's Andre making the play. Really nice pick there. Came in aggressive and you know right past that cut line. Right? So a big thank you, I'm sure he needs to send to the staff for keeping that line nice and groomed. But well done there. Late in the game, that area can be pretty pretty chewed up and they don't have exactly the Major League Baseball level maintenance here between every inning, so really nice play. Nice play made by Andre, Sean Andre. It was a St. John's pitcher and a St. John's shortstop that made that play. And now we see Joshua Rao. He's at the plate now for the Clay Cobras. Clay has not put a dent in the scoreboard yet today. No runs as of yet. But, but the Dodgers scout team, every time they've had a runner on base, they've, for the most part, driven that runner home. And one of the themes of today's game we've talked about is just the prowess to run for the Dodgers, and there's a quick strikeout of Rao. And already two gone here in the seventh for the Dodgers. And here is Aiden Hampton, today's starting pitcher today for the Clay Cobras. He will stand in with two outs. Here's a grounder to short already, and that one he couldn't come up with. I was going to say already, Sean Andre has made a pretty nice throw and, and pick over to first, but that time... Uh, got through his glove, Mark. It's a little chewed up. Um, upon looking at the replay, that it might not have broken down fast enough, and was might not have needed to hurry that one as much. This is great. He'll be able to kind of take a look at that, critique how he did, and make any adjustments if he needs to. And that one was nearly 89 miles per hour off the bat, and like you said, a negative eight. So that's definitely a lot of line drop ground ball. Yeah. So you know, if something hit that hard. This level of play, he's not going to be a six, you know, a six sub six five sixty runner. You got time. Get over there, get behind it, break down, field it. Chase Haggard, today's catcher, is at the plate. And he sees that one at 79 miles per hour. From Tyler Waters. stolen base for Hampton. He gets down to second base pretty quickly. You haven't seen too many opportunities really for Clay to even get stolen bases. They just haven't had too many guys on base today. Yeah, I, and I wonder if that was an attempted pitch out. It was definitely outside, but it's a little low for the catcher to make the play and, and throw. You know, one of the things we really haven't seen, there's a walk. Um, we haven't seen too many opportunities, too many times really that the Dodger guys have had to throw out of the stretch. Mm -hmm. I mean, they've, they've been just working pretty free and easy as, as far as base runners go today. Well, I think if you ask the Dodgers coaches here, okay, yes, did they have a lead? Yes. Are these competitive 
people, yes. But I promise you they are enjoying this moment right now because these are coachable, teachable moments right. for these guys that really work with the players. Now the pitcher's got a couple of guys on. Um, you can go in there and work on his middle approach. He can Now the defense gets to work a little bit on uh, you know what are your progressions and, and positions and responsibilities for where balls are hit. So this is a nice coachable moment for Coach Lucas and the staff. So I just had a brief mound visit, and I don't know what was said out there. We don't have a microphone on Tyler Waters right now, but whatever was said in that brief meeting, I mean, he couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> and he had a smile on his face the entire time when, great. The, when the pitcher pitching coach goes out there, and, and ever since, he's had a smile on his face. Now he's pretty focused with the runners at first and second. Here's the pitch, and it's a strike on the outside corner. 80, really? Nearly 81. Really located that nice... Um, you know, down, away from the hitter, 81, that's his highest velo, I think, of the inning. Well done. Here's the pitch. Swung on, this one lifted to center field. Let's see who converges on it. The center fielder comes under it, and that, I believe, is going to do it for this inning. As once again, that'll be the final out of the of the inning. We'll take a break. We'll come back. It's five nothing. The Dodgers scout team. I think that's the victory today. They're going to call this one after seven. So that is it. The bottom of the seventh is concluded. The final score: the Florida Dodgers scout team five, and the Clay Cobras nothing for Andrew Gibson and Mark Spencer. Glad you guys have been watching and listening today. We'll take a timeout. Our second game coming up in just a bit.